Chocolatey Chippy Cookies. Are you ready? We are going on the most epic of adventures. We are going to be playing Fable, The Lost Chapters. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale. Here lived a boy and his family. A boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Nice. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oak Lake. Ooh. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay, seems pretty good. So I get a gold piece for every good deed that I do so I can buy my sister a birthday present in this game. Is that the little sister wandering off? Well, that must be the little sister right there. Is that her? They look related. Okay, let's see if you can talk to her. I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Who's Rosie? Okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll help you find Rosie. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. Is that a stuffed animal? She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Don't worry, I will find your bear. A little furry bear with a blue patch. Okay, well, she was kind of walking from this way. Maybe this guy has seen her? Oh, wait, is that Dad? That's Dad. Should I check the house? Little bear. Is this my bed? <gasps> I punched the bookshelf. These books belong to your parents. They don't look interesting. What about in here? This just contains your father's clothes. Where is there a little bear? This cupboard is full of old blankets. All right, there's nothing in the house. <gasps> you find your sister's diary. Harvest, day 15. Mother is away again. She never tells us where. I think father is a little sad when she goes. Where's mother? Harvest day 18. I had that nightmare again last night. There is a big room and right in the middle of it, there is a big swooshing light that feels like it's going to suck me in. I still couldn't see what was in the middle of it. I don't think I ever want to. How old is his sister? I had another dream. I was opening birthday presents and I was so happy. Then something happened and it was so horrible, it woke me up. I think that part was only a dream though. It's my birthday today. I bet my brother forgets again. No, your brother didn't forget, but at least mother will be back. I got up early to look out over the sea and now I'm going to play in the top field. Hmm, interesting. This poor sister said she wanted to go play over at the top field. Has she already played there? Should I knock on the door? Oh, I can't. Ah, that is not how you open it. Maybe I can ask these people. I can look out into the sea. Come on, there has to be a little bear stuffed animal around here somewhere. Maybe this guy has seen it. Um, excuse me. Oh, he's eating an apple. It's going to be an early morning for me. All the shops are shut today and there's nothing else to do. Why are the shops shut down? Oh, Tim. Maybe she was over here at the barn? <gasps> uh oh. oh. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Uh, sure. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Ah. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. Okay. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. This could be a good deal. Right. Won't be long. Okay, hurry back. Oh, man. Oh, there's a little kid here. My cousin Hi. says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Okay. Quick. While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. No, you do it. I'm not gonna Unless smash too barrels. Scared. <gasps> Unless she's just a big blubbing girl. What? Come on, let's go and break stuff. I'm not gonna break it's anything. Gonna he wants me to break like this lemon. barrel. I'm not gonna do that. Not being good is so boring. I'm gonna Wouldn't get in you trouble. Prefer to be smashing things. No, you're gonna absolutely Come on. get me in trouble. There's still time before he gets back. No, I'm gonna stand over here. He asked me to stand oh, right here. No fun at all. You go do it then. If you want to see what's inside the barrels, go ahead, punch him open. I'm standing Fine. right here. Have your stupid good day then. He's really upset. Why can't he just go do it himself? Who's that? There was someone running back there. Oh, good. See, he's back. Yes. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so happy you returned very quickly. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Thank you. You performed your first good deed. Remember to talk to your father to receive your reward. Oh, <gasps> yes. Then I can buy my little sister a birthday present. Even though she probably wants me to just find her bear. Let's go talk to dad. Redeem the reward. Takes after his Where's father. Dad? There he is. Excuse me, chicken. Hey, dad. I did my first good deed. Also, have you seen sister's bear? Ah. Well done, lad. 
Here's your award for those good deeds. Oh, yes, thank you. Have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Teresa, okay. Uh, no, I have one coin. Is that enough? How much do things cost in this town? Do some more good deeds, and I'll give you more gold. All right. Where is that bear? Oh, there's another kid. You stupid little idiot. <gasps> Hey! Is everything okay? Are you all right? This little boy looks afraid. I want money next week. <gasps> Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? <gasps> Anybody can, like, Anybody whatever they want. They want. <laughs> Get him off me! Please help! Well, what's going on? Why is he bullying you? He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Such a bully. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Isn't he like double my size? Can I scare him off? Um, can you just leave this kid alone, please? You stupid little idiot. <gasps> yeah, see, are we the same height? I guess we're kind of the same height. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. Hey, be nice to him. Pick on someone not even your own size. Just don't pick on anybody. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. <gasps> What type of teddy bear? But still, how about you walk away? If he's irritating you, then you can leave. No, he won't give it to me. Just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. Why would you want to do that? Okay, this I guy told is him, just mean. if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Okay, you don't control him. I think it's time for you to walk away. Poor little kid. I wonder what type of teddy bear that was. There's this guy again. Is he just standing there watching those boxes? Where did my little sister go? Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Okay. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. Yes, it is her birthday. Did you get her a present? And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm earning money for that. But I will, I will. I'm not going to forget her birthday. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Ooh, would she want that for her birthday? Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I don't have three gold pieces. Would you take one? I, I only have one. I'm going to say yes, but I I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sunny. Okay, I'll be back. Just three gold coins is all I ask, and your sister will love them. So I need to do more good deeds around town. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I don't know. Is he in town? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. <gasps> if you find him, let me know, won't you? Okay. Who's this playing with the scarecrow? Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what little day brother. it is. Like <gasps> you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Um, you guys? That wasn't the right sister and the one in the beginning. That was the wrong girl. I thought they looked the same, so I thought that was his sister. Okay, so apparently this is his sister then. Where's my present then? Um, I'll be right back. I, I, of course I haven't forgotten. Okay, I need to get her a present. I need to do more good deeds. She's gonna be so mad. I can't believe that wasn't the sister. <gasps> okay, well, at least we found her now. Was I even in the right house then? No, it was, because her journal was there. There has to be something I can do about this bully. What is it? You're as bad as my crybaby little sister. You know what? Enough bullying. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. There you go. He's running off. Thank you. You stopped him good. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Hey, Rosie. <gasps> he did have the teddy bear. Thank you. You performed a good deed. Remember to talk to your father. Thank you so much. All right, now I got that teddy bear for that little girl. Where could she be? Dad, I did another good deed. Can I have a gold coin? Well done, lad. Here's your award for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Not yet. I'm working on it. She's going to get some candy. Right, where's that little girl at? Maybe go this way? Did she go over here? Oh, there's some people. Hello. Run along. We're busy. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if you've seen a little girl looking for her teddy bear. I love you more than any of the others, my little honeypot. Ah. Let's tell her now. I can't wait any longer. <gasps> I'll leave her. I'm just waiting for the right moment. This is the husband. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? That's not your wife. Look, Sonny. Keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, 
I'll give you a gold piece. Oh no, he's promising me gold too. If I don't tell his wife that he's out and about with this other woman. Will you take his bribe and commit a bad deed? Wait, a bad deed? Beware, gossip travels very quickly in Oakvale. I don't want to do a bad deed. No, his wife Just asked don't me tell first. My wife. I can't let her find out about this. Too late, ma'am. I have some news. Uh, it's about your husband. I, I saw him. He was next to a house. <laughs> with some woman, I don't doubt. So you know? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Ooh. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Can I have a gold coin? Talk to your father. Oh, I'm gonna get it from. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> Let's follow Wait him. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! His mother will be pleased with his behavior. Oh, she's gonna kill him. Excuse me. I can't stop. Yo, <gasps> filthy swine! She's scolding him! We were rehearsing a play. Yeah, that's all it was. He's lying. Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your strumpet, you've got another thing coming. Uh, okay, so we're going to just uh, let them work on their uh, marriage. Anyways. Oh, look it. There's some kids. There's a little girl who's looking for her teddy bear. Uh, hey, little girl. I found your teddy bear. Give the teddy to the girl. Yes. <gasps> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Yes. All right, that is two good deeds. Uh, Dad, can I have two more gold coins? Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Yes, I'm going to go buy some candy. You now have enough money to buy a present for your sister. Yes, okay. See, I did not forget. Hey, uh, excuse me, sir. Do you still have the candy for sale? Ooh, you lucky I've still got these sweets. Yes. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Okay, would you like to buy the sweets for three gold coins? Yes. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Uh, yes, sir. Ooh, he even wrapped it up in a box and put on a bow. Chocolates. There goes my money. Now to find my sister. Ooh, they're buying something too. Oh, Vale is so boring. All the shops are shut today and there's nothing else to do. Maybe you should go talk to the trader. There she is. Still playing in the mud. Happy birthday, sister. Give the chocolates to your sister. I yes. knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. <gasps> Wait, does that mean something horrible is going to happen then? Just like she also saw in her dream? Come on. Let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Uh, hopefully. I mean, according to the diaries, Mother's been gone for a while. All right, uh, let's head home. Come on. Come on, sister. Wait. There's something wrong. What? Bandits! What? <laughs> what? <gasps> it's really happening. They're here. You've got to This hide. is a terrible dream. <gasps> hide? But... This is horrible! This town is under attack! Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. No! Why? Why are they here? What do they want? Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was no. them. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. No! Mortally wounded? The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Why do they want the boy? Why? This is so sad. I thought we were going to have like a nice birthday party. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. This is so sad. <gasps> no! No! The town. I truly am alone. No, 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 no. Why did they do this? Wait, listen. Is that my sister? Father! Oh. <laughs> no! No, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, run, 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 run. What? We must leave. Oh. It's not safe here. Use magic. Give me your hand. Okay, reach out. Don't be afraid. You just saved your life. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. I know, I do There's know nothing that. left for you in Oakvale. Come with me. But 
Maze family! They're all gone! My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Definitely. We're definitely going to need Here to go and get are. revenge. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. He's going to learn how to be a hero, just like in his dream. You'll but he had no idea it would be at this Whisper, cost. One of our brightest young pupils. Whisper, okay. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. Your training starts tomorrow. Okay, so the girl's name is Whisper. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's the morning. It's time to wake up. Is this you Whisper? You must be my roommate. Hmm, shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. What? He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Okay. What's in here? The world map. It looks like there's enough room for plenty of people to be here training. Uh, this hello. This dining room is where the main meals are served. The melee ring is outside, across the bridge. Oh, okay. There's other people here. There's a lot of other people here. You said across the bridge. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right, go this way. There's the guildmaster. All right, lad. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Okay. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. There we go. Get all the rage Not out. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Stick. Okay, got my stick. There we go. Ah. ah, now that's more like it. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like what? there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity what? to test your spirit. But I'm brand new, I just I'll got here. I'll you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. That wasn't my training? Kill the beetles infesting the guild woods. You get 20 gold. I mean, if the training master says I can handle this, then I trust him. Where are the beetles at? Use your stick. Use my stick. Okay, I got it. I'm ready. I mean, these are just going to be small little beetles, right? Ah, okay. They're a little bit larger than I thought they would be. Okay. This was enough to sound the alarm. Oh, I need this experience orb. There's so many of them. I still hear one. No. Yes. All right. I got my gold and some experience. Well wait, done, wait. lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Good work, lad. I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. Yes. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Uh, thank you. Do you wish to leave your childhood behind and begin apprentice training? So I'm going to stay a little bit longer because I want to help the servants out. You're ready. I will. Thank you. You look tired after killing those beetles. Really? I do? Maybe I should go get a nap. I think I'm going to go sleep. Ooh, I got a cooking apple. Well, perfect. I was heading back in to see if maybe they needed any help too. Ooh, what is this? Here rests the body of Holder, the great warrior who tamed the last dragon scene and rode it into countless battles. I really hope that the sister and the mother aren't dead. That's really sad what happened to him, but hopefully he can get some training and become the hero that he always dreamed that he would like to be. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope your day is going absolutely beautiful. Go out there, make your dreams come true and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye cookie fans!